my name's Brandon, and this is my dad, Don, uh, on Facebook. We're doing Facebook Live as well right now. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit us up. I'll do my best to keep checking the page. Um, but we are trying to do a YouTube uh, channel with my dad's company right now. And uh, just to show you guys exactly what you know we do um, more so my dad but I know what we're doing is we're gonna share what we're doing is we're gonna share ideas and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna build engines we're gonna show uh, the race car we're gonna uh, showcase some of our products that we do and uh, I want to get my son more involved in my business so you know I'm 62 years old now and I want to uh, I want to pass this on to him or my uh, nephew and if I don't start now you know it's going to be too late so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to kick some ideas around uh today what we're getting together for is is we're uh this car behind us uh i purchased this from a good customer of mine and uh hasn't been to the racetrack since 2019 so um, we're going to kick around some ideas today about engines that we'd like to put together and possibly put in this thing and and get to the racetrack and have some fun and then show everybody what we do. So, <clears throat> this is a, what, 1970? 1971. 71 GTO. Uh, nope, 71 Le Mans. Uh, it's, Le Mans. It's, it's the little sister. Okay. <laughs> um, it has a GTO badging on it, that's what threw me off. Okay, well yeah, but see the chrome bumper? No, yeah. Alright, well, don't, don't get them mistaken, you're going to have all the Pontiac police after us. <laughs> Uh, this car was raced for how long? Uh, I don't know how long it's uh, been raced. I know it's been a race car for a very long time. It's a cool car too. I mean this thing is a uh, back half car. It's got a Ford 9-inch, uh, Fab 9-inch under it with uh, ladder bar suspension. It's got a full cage in it. I think it'll cert for 850. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to kick around some ideas today, my son and I, with uh, uh, some different engine combinations, and we'll see what uh, what we come up with here. But uh, I think this is going to be uh, uh, beginning of a neat adventure for uh, him and I, and uh, hopefully for DCI Motorsports. So this car weighs what? Do you think 3,800? No, it's not that heavy. I'd say maybe maybe 35 with a driver. So horsepower wise, you think what to get us into nines? Uh, you know what? What's cool is okay. So let's let's figure out what we got available to us. All right. So we have, I have uh, a Tiger Head engine, and uh, which a, is your original head you designed back right. in '03. That's right. Yep, I designed. Well, it's actually whenever I sold that to Old Pontiac back in '03, but I actually designed that head in like '99, 2000. Yeah, because I remember that I was in high school. Right. So. So yeah, that, 20 years ago. <laughs> that, that was the original head I designed, and uh, so that that cylinder head I don't own anymore. But uh, but now I got a Ramier five head uh, or a replica of, which uh, I put on steroids. So you know it's <clears throat> it's like the Ramier five. I tried to copy some of the external features so everybody recognized it. But uh, I raised the intake port an inch. I raised the exhaust port an inch. We changed the combustion chamber, and we totally redesigned the intake man or intake port. Uh, the intake port on this cylinder head is real high velocity, makes a lot of torque. And uh, my son made a video uh, uh, with a guy that works for me, Brandon Deavy's car. It's a '67 Firebird with a Ram Air, or yeah, with a Ram Air five head, uh, 511 cubic inch motor. And some of you might have seen it. I don't know, maybe not, but. Um, if not, get on our YouTube channel and check it out. But um, it, the, the chassis dyno says it's making 760 horsepower to tire. Probably that's not a really accurate number because um, the torque, it's an automatic car and it's a torque converter uh, that multiplies torque. So I would say realistically at the tire, it might be making maybe 650 to 680 which is still pretty stout. And that's on pump gas. That's yeah. not yeah. race fuel. That's 93 pump gas. Yeah, that is a pump gas engine, which is pretty cool. I mean, you know what? Uh, 
Uh, there's guys out there that have got race gas with 15 to 1 compression and can't make that kind of torque. So, you know, that's pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, so what, you know, we got, we're going to show more videos of that car too. Uh, we might even blow that thing up. I don't know. Brandon don't know yet, but I think we might blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> it has a factory block, so it, who knows what it can hold up to. That's right. <laughs> um, so we got a Rammer 5 option. We got a Tiger Head option. We have no Edelbrock stuff. We do have some Edelbrock heads. I just picked up a set of heads from an Edelbrock, or for my customer, it's got, uh, that I have some Edelbrock heads, or, uh, you know, uh, we got, we have lots of options. We can do the, uh, Tiger heads, we can do the Ram Air 5 heads, we can do the, um, uh, uh, Edelbrock head, um, I don't have any, uh, KRE heads. Uh, but I do have, and I think this might be the option we go with, um, I've got some uh, old iron heads, some uh, Ram Air 4 heads I ran back in the uh, 80s and 90s. And uh, I had those on a uh, 455 in a in 1981 uh, Grand Prix that I made look like an 87 Grand Prix. And I drove it on the street, and I actually drove it to the track several times. And that car ran 1020s at uh, like 138 mile an hour back then uh, through the exhaust on DOT tires. So uh, the car's pretty impressive. But uh, yep. so we got them heads too. So, <clears throat> so if those heads, you would run what a uh, Victor? Uh, we might run a Victor. I ran a, a, a Doug Nash on it, and I still have that Doug Nash. I still have the whole top end package. Yeah, the Doug Nash is sitting on top of my motor in my garage. Oh, good. Yep. So I gave it to you. Good. Yep. <laughs> so we can go completely old school. Yep. And make so, this thing run the nines. Uh, let's see. You know what? That's what we want to do. Let's because see what we can do. Because your three and three was heavier than this, wasn't it? Uh, about the same weight. It weighed thirty six eighty. Okay. So with me in it, so a little bit heavier in this car. So you know what, it, but the mile an hour showed that it could have ran nice. I just, the car left literally on the right rear tire. Yeah, I remember you kept breaking dry shafts. And, and it would pop the left spring out of the rear end all the time. <laughs> so every pass I had to come back and reset the rear spring. But it, it would literally leave on the right rear tire. <laughs> and some of you guys may remember that. I mean, I, whenever I used to race a Quaker City and uh, Dragway 42, man, I'll tell you what, it was almost blinding because people would take so many pictures of that car because of the way it left, which is, you know, I, I wish I had some of those pictures now. I, I don't know if anybody has any, but if you do, please share them. Yeah, um, it was the maroon one, because mm -hmm. you had a black and silver one too. Yeah, that one only ran 1150s on DOTs. That was that was my entry level. Yeah. And that, that believe it or not, that was a pump gas, 355 rear end gear, DOT tire. Drove to the track and ran 1150s, and back then that was that was pretty quick. <laughs> it still is quick. I mean, <laughs> we have production cars faster than that, but you ain't gonna find a lot of those cars on the street. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I, now I consider a quick street car somewhere in the sevens or eights. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. Um, thank you, turbos. <laughs> yeah, right. And superchargers. <laughs> um, are we going to throw a turbo on this, maybe, or nitrous, or? Uh, you know what? We might get stupid. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'd like to. You know what? We're gonna put the old school engine maybe back in it after we discuss this today and see where we're at and. Uh, and you know what? We can do all kinds of things. We have a lot of options available to us. Uh, I would like to get oh, the Tiger. Ed. Ed wants me to hold the mic closer to you. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who's Ed? Ed Page. Oh. <laughs> hey, Ed. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> um, so, anyways, if we, uh, you know what? If uh, we can, we can get crazy with the uh, combinations on this thing. I don't care what we do. We can do. Uh, uh, you know what? I, the Tiger Head. I would love to prove the Tiger Head. That, uh, that cylinder head is actually a really good cylinder head. And some of the fastest Pontiacs in the country are running that cylinder head right now. And I'm proud to say that I designed that head back in the in 90s. And um, it's, uh, it's pretty impressive. But you know what? It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of money. A lot of money to make that any head work. I don't care what it is. So... And, and you know what, we're going to try to keep this uh, project budget friendly. We're not going to get stupid. I want, to, I want to replicate or do something that other people can replicate. You know, if they want to have fun uh, building a combination like what we have here, 
and uh, and working with a budget, budget, you know that that's that's what we're after. Yeah. So, I mean, you got what I call a shopping mall of parts in the barn, and so I mean we can go through there and get the things that we don't have available. I'm sure we can find it. Uh, be the same like going to a swap meet or just digging through your closet. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, any racer has old stuff laying around. <laughs> yeah, my nephew Luke, uh, which is <laughs> your cousin, he's all about that barn. As a matter of fact, he's putting his Trans Am together right now with barn parts. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's very, very budget friendly. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, you know what? I got a lot of stuff from 42 years of business. So. And it's the good stuff, too. It's not like the new stuff where you're, like you're running into now. You're having problems with the aftermarket stuff, not yeah. fitting, not working correctly breaking yeah, uh, it's all junk now everything's junk you know we did the, we got lifters failing we got cams failing springs failing valves failing I mean you name it whatever part we buy today is junk uh, bearings are failing I'm, I'm just sick and tired of the junk we got today I want to go back 30 40 years mm -hmm. so it's hard to believe you know what that uh, uh, back when I first started this business in uh, 1981 82 you could actually buy a part, take it out of the package, clean it, and put it in an engine. You know what? Those days are gone. Yep. It's a shame. Yeah. All right. So the rear end, we got a spool in this with a uh, what rear end gear? Um, I think that it has a 410 gear in it right now. Oh, so it's, it's pretty peppy. That's got a decent gear. I mean, but it's got a 32-inch tall tire on it, too, so... But 410 gear for Pontiac, even even a Rammer 5 or a Tiger Head motor is good. The, this uh, this car had a Tiger Head engine in it. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys remember Joe Camp had it up on the bumper, what, five, six years ago now? Well, the last time was at the Nationals in 19, 2019, but I think it was a couple years before that. So it must have been around 17 with the Tiger Head engine in it, 17 or 18, maybe. Anyway, um, uh, poor Joe, he launched that thing and it, uh, he didn't have wheelie bars on it. And literally all four wheels were off the ground. Whew. And uh, when it came back down, it was at the Pontiac Nationals, and when it came back down, uh, it shot over that uh, cement barrier there in Norwalk. So, <laughs> scared daylights out of him. <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> all right, so if we put like a uh, 800 horse motor in it. 800 horsepower? Where are you coming from? Well, that would be a budget build, wouldn't it? Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 800 <laughs> horsepower? Holy moly! We're not, yeah, we're not, uh, no. We're, it, realistically, we're probably going to be looking at 650, 700 horsepower if we're lucky. Well, we're going to have to change that. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it, yeah, I mean, you know what, with a, with a Ram Air forehead, if we can make 650 to 700 horsepower, I made 724 with my Ram Air foreheads, but I worked with that combination for probably 10 years before I got there. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I already know the magic dust, so. Uh, Ed says boost is best. I agree. <laughs> and, well, you know what, I don't have Ed's money, so. <laughs> I love you, Ed, but, <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, Ed has a sweet, sweet ride. If you guys haven't checked out Ed Page on uh, Facebook yet, please do. And uh, he's got some awesome uh, t-shirts and hats and stuff, too, That and you need to help support the team because he's got a badass hot ride. Uh, 1969 Firebird. I think it's all steel except for the hood, and I believe it's got factory glass in that car, too, and he's got... Uh, uh, and I'm going to promote it here a little bit. He's got DCI Ram Air 5 cylinder heads on that engine. Uh, Ed did a really good job building that thing. And uh, him and his buddy, he's got a team. Uh, his brother Steve and his son Eddie and uh, his buddy Mike. I mean, those guys are uh, all top-notch guys. And uh, they do a great job. And, uh, and I'm hoping Ed's going to be at the Pontiac Nationals this year. So we'll see. I, th I know he just got his cylinder heads back, and uh, he's going to put some late nights in, but uh, hopefully he can make it. Well, he definitely has a team to help him, though, that's for sure. Oh, there ain't no doubt. I mean, you know what, uh, he, he's definitely got a solid team, and that's, that's what it takes. So. 
Um, what does Ed? Ed has a YouTube page, doesn't he, with his car on it? I'm not sure if Ed has it. You know what? Pipe up Ed and tell us. If you do, let's uh, promote that a little bit. Yeah, Ed, leave it in the comments and uh, we'll put it on our YouTube uh, page so they can click on and check out the uh, your car and um, the, the Raven is yes, the name of it. The Raven, yes. The sweet, sweet 69 Firebird. You hear my, my sneaker just did a burnout. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, so back to the build here, um, not to get off subject, but um, so we're going to probably do a 455. Yep, I think, you know what, I got some parts laying around the shop and, uh, and, we're, and this is going to be a budget, budget friendly. I'm not going to brag about like Hot Rod Magazine does or Hot Rod TV or whatever and say, oh, we can build this thing for $2,000. You know what, that's bullshit because nobody can do that. They, they do that to sell magazines and that's okay. You know what, that's their thing and I'm not doing that. But I do have some parts laying around the shop and uh, we're going to put some things together. I got a block, I got a crank. Uh, I'm going to have to buy some rods and uh, pistons and... Uh, well, I might have pistons too, I don't know. But uh, I think I got, you know, because we stock so many parts, I got rings and bearings on the shelf. I might have a used camshaft laying around, some lifters. So, you know what, well, we're gonna do a budget friendly. Um, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, it's gonna be old school. I wanna, I think, I think we're gonna do the Raven Air 4. All right, and those heads are already ported. Yep. Looks well, like I have fun cleaning them up, though. I'm assuming they're probably dirty. Uh, well, they haven't been on my engine since, uh, you know what? It's been 27 years since I've been in a race car, son. 27 years. I got to wash the rust off of you, old man. You ain't kidding, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to fart dust. but <laughs> So, yeah, but you know what? This car is going to be for both of us. We're going we're gonna to both of us are going to drive this car. I know you've been wanting to get in a fast car. And I definitely love fast cars. I, I love driving the stuff that we build on the street. Uh, it's probably scarier on the street than it is at the racetrack. <laughs> but you know what? I enjoy it. Yep, I would uh, I would like to get in this thing as well. But that's why we're doing this, though. It's mainly because, you know, to get you back to racing. You haven't raced in, like you said, 27 years. You've been doing nothing but busting your butt and developing parts for the Pontiac crowd. And... Uh, and so, time Amen. for you, time for you to uh, yeah. <laughs> get back into racing and having fun. Yep, yeah, life's short, and you know what, I don't know what my window is, but uh, I know I'm going to start enjoying it a little bit more. So, yeah, that, that's what, what this is all about. I'm, I'm at that stage of life that, you know what, we're about fun now. Where, uh, you know, I want to I wanna have fun with my son, I want to get back to the racetrack, I want to start enjoying life again, and I want to, you know what, I haven't been in a race car in 27 years. That's a long time. And uh, I know I still got it because I play with stuff on the street, but, but you still, you know what, like, you got you have to be in the car. You got to be in the car. Yep, it's definitely different whenever you uh, are playing on the street just a little bit because you're not, I mean, these are customer cars, so you're not sitting there beating on them to death to the well, point where, yeah. you know, you're going to put yourself in the car in danger. But at the track, you're going full out. I mean, it's... Yes. It's go, you know, so yeah, it's going to be a little different, but I mean, you've done it this, what, since you were 17, so yep. it would be like riding a bike. You just got to get your training wheels back off. Yep. Actually, I did more street racing than I did drag racing anyway, so, but when I was younger, I mean, when I was building my business, we were at the track. Uh, if it was open Wednesday, we were there Wednesday. If it was open Friday, we were there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't care. I was at the track. So I, I lived at the racetrack. I love it. But yeah, so we'll see what happens. So Ed just said that he will be there. Well, the whole team will be there, but the Raven is questionable right now. Oh, come on, Ed. Man, I'm counting on you, buddy. That, uh, um, yeah, well, if you, if, I understand. If you, if you can't make it, I understand. But if there's anything we can do to help you, we'd be happy to do it. Yep, and uh, and he just posted it's Raven Racing on Facebook, and uh, that's his Facebook page for his race car. Check, go by, check it out. It is definitely, definitely a beautiful car. 
Yes, it is. Ed, Ed has put a lot of energy and uh, time and money in that car, and, uh, and, and it shows. It's a beautiful, it's a show car. It's not only a race car, it's a show car. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, all right, well, um, we are going to uh, probably just take questions now. If, if anyone uh, wants to ask a question, right now is your time to ask anything you want. <laughs> no, not anything. Um, anything you want. I got, I got the, the doctor with me right now. Dr. Johnston. As, uh, uh, oh, what we call, a medicine man. That's right. Medicine man. That was, that was my handle back in the day. Medicine and, uh, man. So I got him. You guys have no idea how hard it is to get him here and with me. So that's, that's, Use this time wisely. Uh, Uncle Paul says learning to drive again is harder than he thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what, Uncle Paul, he bought my 62 Catalina, which I'm glad he did. And uh, and he's got a 428 in that car. And it's going to be fun for him when he gets it all mm -hmm. figured out. That's going to be an 11, mid-11 11 second car, and he drives it on the street. It, and it's pump gas. I mean, it's a it's a cool car. For 4,200 pounds, that's pretty impressive. So, yep. yeah. I think, and, it, and it's got iron heads on it too, D-port heads, you know, it's not a round port head motor. So yeah, he's got a cool car there. And you know, and his son uh, Luke is uh, building a, uh, a 77 Trans Am that, uh, you know, my uh, son-in-law Andrew gave you, and then yep. you ended up giving me, and I ended up giving to Luke. Yep. So it's been through the family <laughs> tree. But uh, Luke's got a 77 TEA that he built his own engine for, and uh, he's putting the car together right now. And then my son, he's got my 67 Firebird, the hardtop that I've owned for, I don't know, 30 plus years, maybe 35 years, I don't even know. Yep. And uh, you're putting that together, and you the engine you built, you know, you got a 400 you built for that, or put together for that, so. Yep. So no, you know what, we, we're diehard Pontiac people, man. We love Pontiacs. So uh, the LS thing is starting to creep up on me, but, uh, but right now we're still diehard Pontiac. Uh, Brandon's car is not going to be there? No. Unfortunately, Brandon's car is too fast and it does not have a roll cage yet. So, But it is running though. It is, yes. We might be doing more dyno with that uh, on the chassis dyno with that car uh, because we still have some things to play around with the Rammer 5 head. Yep. Um, well, you know what? We're probably going to blow Brandon's car up. You know, he, uh, we just, uh, well, I shouldn't see we, he just got a, couple, a set of uh, boosters for a couple of dominators that I have. I got some carb shop dominators, and uh, currently he's got 850 uh, quick fuels on that thing. Uh, but, but we're going to see what that thing will do with a couple of dominators. And if it picks up another 40, 50 horsepower and uh, 30, 40 foot-pounds of torque, uh, that factory block is begging for mercy right now. It's like shoving 10 pounds of shit in a five pound sack, but <laughs> we're gonna have fun. <laughs> yep. And Mark Billings is busting your chops. He said, that's not Coors. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. <laughs> uh, I knew somebody would notice. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's switching it up a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, hey Mark, you need to get your car uh, back to the track. I don't know if you were there last year or not, but uh, Mark Billings got a pretty badass car too. He's got, I think it's a 71 Trans Am. It's a real Trans Am back half car. Uh, purple Flames. I used to have Purple Flames. He wrecked it. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, and his wife, uh, Christy, she, or Christina, um, has that Firebird as well, or did she sell that? No, no, they, they still have, they, yeah, he, I think he's still got uh, Big Boomer, or Boomer and Little Boomer. Her car's Little Boomer and his Big, big Boomer. And uh, I don't know if he still has that car or not, but I know his wife still has her car, Little Boomer. Well, good. I hope to see them out at Pontiac Nationals. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to get the old man back into racing again. And uh, uh, we're going to build this and uh, do a YouTube uh, a couple of YouTube, cha um, not channels, but a couple of YouTube um, videos. videos. Um, so, uh, but Mark said he sold that car. Ah, bummer. That was a cool car. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Um, 
But yeah, that, so. Well, you know what? Mark's got his uh, grandson, um, uh, uh, Isaiah, or Isaac. Isaac? Yeah, Isaac has uh, got a really cool car too, and I think Grandpa helped him with that car. But uh, I think he's got a '70 or '71 Le Mans. Oh yeah, that would, that's a cool car too. Yeah. But yeah. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know what? I, I definitely it. it we're going to have some fun. You know what? We're doing this YouTube thing and it's all about fun. That's what it's all about. So I need, but I need people to subscribe. I need people to pass the word. Uh, we need subscribers. We need watchers, uh, so we can be successful at it and, um, and make things happen. And we're going to, we're going to do stupid, crazy stuff. I mean, you know what? Uh, we're going to do turbos. I've got a 98 millimeter turbo. I've got a, uh, uh, supercharger I've got I've got all kinds of cool stuff so you know what we are going to have some fun and uh, and we're going to probably hurt some stuff uh, hopefully it don't hurt me and my son <laughs> but <laughs> but we're gonna we're, we're gonna try real hard <laughs> so Uncle Paul said he's got to get back to the shop get his car ready for Pontiac Nationals and Mark Billings has just Big Boomer now and uh, Isaac's car is a 71 T37, so that is a pretty cool Amans. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. You know what, that's like the stepsister of the GTO, but hey, it's still a cool car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Alright, well, so any other questions from anyone? Uh, oh, so Patrick, uh, sorry if I mess up your last name, uh, Logino. Okay. Uh, he asked... He got on later, so he's asking what uh, car are we building that's sitting behind us? That's a 1971 Le Mans, and uh, it's a back half car, got a full uh, roll cage in it, Ford 9 inch, with, or Fab 9 inch. Chassis's just been updated, I mean the suspension on this car is all brand new. Coilover shocks, ladder bars, um, it has uh, wheelie bars on this thing. So this car is set up. I mean, this car, this car is capable of A50s. So we're gonna, we'll be able to have some fun with this thing. It's heavy, probably weighs about 3,500 with a driver, but uh, but it, you know what? It's set up, and I and I'll feel safe in it, and I'll feel safe putting my son in it. Yep, and we're gonna do an old school build with it. Um, it's going to be a 455 with some iron heads, uh, probably a Doug Nash or a uh, Victor. And take probably Doug Nash just to keep it old school vibe. We could, you know what? We have we, we're going to try all kinds of different things. We, you know what? We're going to do fuel injection. We're going to do a lot of different things with this thing. Oh yeah, for sure. But you uh, know, Kev, Kevin Dunn, uh, he just did a uh, stack injection for the Ram Air Five deal, and he, he also did it for the uh, standard or traditional Pontiac cylinder head. So, excuse me. You know what? We're probably going to get a hold of Kevin. <gasps> We'll try something with that stuff too. I mean, Kevin's put a lot of effort in that, so you guys need to support him. So, I don't know if all you guys know or not, but go to uh, Kevin Dunn on Facebook. He's got a beautiful, I think it's a 68 Firebird. Uh, yep. Okay. Yep. And he's got a Ram Air 5 engine in that, but he road races this car, yeah. and, uh, and he's done an incredible job modifying the body and suspension and uh, I mean, this guy's a craftsman. He is, he's definitely a quality uh, craftsman, so go check out Kevin Dunn, too. Yeah, I think his business is Castle Works. It is, Castle Works, yes. Castleworks.com. Yep. Uh, transmission, We it, this is a Turbo 400, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, Turbo 400 with the race goodies in it. Yeah, it's a transmission in this car, and it, uh, it's nothing special, but it'll handle 800 horsepower, so your screen went crazy. No. Oh. Um, maximum recording time has been reached. <coughs> okay. Well, we're just taking questions right now anyway, so okay. I, I'm going to stop over. Alright. So if you want to hold that for a second. Alright. Well, while he's figuring out what happened with the camera here. Um, yeah, so anyhow, the Turbo 400 in this car, I built this car, a, a transmission. It's, it's nothing real trick, but it'll handle 800 horsepower. So, um, uh, whatever we throw at it until we get into the big horsepower stuff, which, you know what, we probably eventually will do with this car. Um, you know, right now we're just
just we're, we're doing everything on a budget making it fun uh, we're gonna do stuff that uh, the everyday guy can do uh, with his car at home and uh, you know with uh, budget friendly iron heads or factory iron heads and Victor intake or whatever, you know. What I mean, whatever. What? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Moving you around. Yeah, boy. <laughs> so, but yeah, we uh, it, right now it's just all about budget. But uh, we might get crazy. We might do something, something really crazy. I don't know. We might do a, a 1471 supercharger. We'll see. All right. So we got. What are uh, Ronnie Hensley is uh, asking? Um, what are we going to be putting the 98 millimeter turbo on? Five? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. You know, Everybody the, wants to see the turbo stuff. Oh heck yeah! Well, you know what? That 98 millimeter turbo, I believe, is rated at 2,300 horsepower. So, whatever we put that on, it's going to be fun. And I. Uh, I would love to do a Ram Air 5 with a turbo, but you know what, Ed Page got that covered. Maybe we'll do something even crazier. I don't know yet. We'll see. And then Stephen Adams uh, wants to know, are we servicing any heavy nickel head yet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Steve, I get it, man. And Steve, Steve's a good guy. He helps me out a lot. He helped me with my forklift. I mean, we had some... Uh, cylinders leaking on our forklift, and uh, and I got I reached out on Facebook to somebody that could help me out with that, and Steve stepped right up, and he actually came to the shop, uh, took the cylinders out of my forklift for me, and uh, found a well he knows a guy that uh, services service cylinders for me, and uh, and and put them back in and uh, filled it up with oil. I mean Steve's a great guy. Well, anyhow, he's making a fly cutter for me right now for cylinder heads, uh, so we can uh, cut uh, cast iron cylinder heads. And Pontiac cylinder heads have a lot of nickel in them, and if you don't have your cutter set up right, I'm telling you right now, they are very, very hard to cut, as Steve will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jamie, can I get you to grab me a beer, please? Sure. Thank you. I'm supposed to be incognito, you know. I know you are, but you know what? I need you. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Yep. <laughs> but yes, um, so why he's opening that, but yeah, so I'm going to try to get him to uh, do more Facebook Lives as well to promote stuff and whatnot. And, and you know, it's good to see this side of him. Everyone just sees the business side of him, you know. So now we get to have fun with it. Um, and I think that's important to see as well because I mean yeah I'm not grouchy all the time <laughs> <laughs> well I didn't say that but <laughs> um, you know uh, he uh, he needs to get out and have fun at the racetrack he needs to go back to racing he needs to get out there and uh, you know have fun and, and the YouTube channel is going to be the main focus and uh, we'll do probably a uh, something like this every once a month, maybe. Yeah, maybe once a week. We'll see. You know what? Depending on people, if they like it or not. You know, let us know in the comments if you if you guys enjoy this. We'll keep doing it. You know what? Uh, it's hard for me because I'm so busy. But uh, but I but like my son said, I I need to start having fun. It it it's time. I need to start enjoying my business a little bit. So. Yep, for sure. So uh, Troy. Uh, is it Watering? Watering? Okay. Uh, he is asking if Brandon's car is going to make it to the Nationals. Uh, unfortunately, no. He uh, doesn't have a roll cage uh, for as fast as it's going to be. And uh, he's still tuning it and working on it. Yeah, and he doesn't have the suspension set up properly yet for it. Uh, hey, Jamie. Uh, and that is a serious, uh, serious piece. I mean... Yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna do some videos in that car, and uh, and and I and I'm not exaggerating with a DOT sticky tire uh, on the street. Of course, uh, that car will get stupid at 100 mile an hour. I mean, it that car makes so much power, it's unbelievable, and it's instant. It, you just hit the throttle, and it's stupid. So it it's a it, he he needs to do 
some work before he takes to the track. I don't want him to hurt himself. And uh, his grandpa, I think, gave him that car. So, uh, well, actually, the convertible his grandfather yeah. gave to him. I think his grandfather found the other car for him and uh, and helped him get it. But, uh, yeah, we don't want him to destroy that thing. No, no. Uh, just the motor. <laughs> We might we might hurt the engine, and you know what? That might cost me a few bucks, but it, it'll be fun. You know, with the, the factory block in that, it's a factory block in that car. Two bolt main. It's not a four bolt main. It's a 455 block. It's bored 100 over, and it has a four and a half inch arm in it. So it's a 511 cubic inch motor. Uh, it's pretty astounding that that thing will hold up. And I don't know if you guys seen the video my son did with his car on the dyno or not, but we reached 8,000 RPM with that several times. And that wasn't the only time that he's been up there. No. That thing <laughs> sees 8,000 RPM all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, only because the cylinder head's capable. Now, if the cylinder head wasn't capable, it would hurt itself. But uh, ran and tore the engine down here just recently. Uh, just pulled the oil pan off of it and do a quick check on it. But uh, the bearings look great in this thing. I mean, they don't they don't even look like they've been run. And uh, the uh, the main caps, I told him pull a couple main caps because I'm worried about him walking around because he doesn't have a, it's a, it's a forged crank. It's not a billet crank, so don't have center counter legs. But... Um, uh, he pulled the main caps off, and they're not—they're fretting a little bit, but not bad. So for what it, what he's doing with that thing, it, it, it's pretty incredible. Um, so, are you going to have T-shirts and um, your normal setup at Pontiac Nationals this year, or are we just going to go and drink beer with everyone and have fun? This year we're drinking beer and having fun, and I'm, and I'm, that's what we're doing. Uh, this has been a really, really busy year for me. Um, you know what? We've had a rough two years. And, I, and I'm not complaining. It is what it is. My wife almost died from COVID. I was in the, I, I had to take a couple months off to uh, be with her. Uh, she was in the hospital for six days on oxygen. Uh, that was a real tough time for me. And then uh, last year when we were getting ready to leave for vacation, uh, because she's still weak from COVID, she fell off our porch and broke her heel. And um, and so I had to take about three or four, no, I take more than that. I, had, I took a couple months off for that too. So, you know what, thank God I got uh, Brandon and the guys, uh, Luke and uh, Trent and DJ and everybody at the shop to help you know, take care of things, but uh, these last two years have been pretty, pretty hard on me, so. Yep, so we will have t-shirts there, so if anybody wants t-shirts, that there's only some very limited. We, we, you know what, I got, I've got a box of t-shirts and stuff that, and it's kind of dated, I want to get some new stuff, we need to, do, you know, we need to update a little bit. My son does my t-shirts for me, and he does a good job. But we do need to update a little bit, and uh, so we're going to we'll do that. Uh, one of the things uh, maybe you guys would be interested in, maybe you won't, I don't know. But anyway, we want to do a t-shirt with a blueprint of a cylinder head, preferably a Ramer 5 DCI head on the back, mm -hmm. and, uh, and some other things that are going to be pretty cool. So, yeah, we're going to, and, and you know what, we can do hoodies, we can do... Uh, mm -hmm. Hats. Uh, not very many people do hats, but you know what? If you want a hat, we'll do a hat. Yep. Uh, T-shirts, hoodies, shorts for the girls, uh, tank tops for the girls. Whatever you guys want, you know. Tell us what you want. We'll do it. You know, we're game. Yep, uh, for sure. Uh, Patrick says keep up the videos and show them on build progress. Definitely will. Um, we're going to. The video I'm going to uh, try to have up next week, and we'll have a link to that on the Facebook page. Correct. And uh, it'll show basically what you guys already watched, but with some few extra stuff that we're going to be throwing in. And um, and then it's going to be building after that. It's going to be less BS and more building. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? We're gonna. We're, yeah, they're gonna. It's gonna be a combination. You know what? And and please tell us, tell us what you want to see. You know, because we want we want an audience, and we need people to uh, 
care whether it's what they like. Yeah. And uh, you know what? If it's uh, uh, turbochargers or superchargers or nitrous or you know, a degree in a cam or putting a rear main seal. I don't care. You know, whatever you guys want to see, I, I will do it. And, uh, but I just need to have some ideas and, uh, and we'll make it happen. And I want to get my son more involved. So, um, th this is a perfect time for us to try to expand on all this. I, uh, I have an idea. I think, uh, that front end engine dragster that you have in the box, uh, needs to come out. Oh yeah, well not, it, it's not a front engine, it's a rear engine, oh. but but I bought that thing, you know what, the dyno engine's on the chassis dyno, and, uh, but the thing is, is we've been so busy, uh, it's just crazy, I, I'm not even going to go into it, but between all the things I've been through the last two years with all the health problems and everything we got going on, uh, I need to expand my building. I need to uh, I need to get my engine dyno up and running. I need I mean there's I need I need I need. You guys got to remember I'm 62 years old. I'm running out of time here. <laughs> so. But I think a uh, hmm, turbocharged dragster would be cool. <laughs> you don't see that. Mm. You do, but they're stupid. <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. Yeah, they're Turbo stupid. Turbo on anything is not stupid. <laughs> Uh, turbo on anything is stupid. <laughs> I don't know. I'll Ask Ed. He was in the sand last year. I'll turbocharge a lawnmower. Or the year before. I don't remember. His la I don't think he made it last year. Maybe it was the year before. But anyhow, Ed Page ended up in the sand. Yeah, but, you know, that's because he was going so fast with the turbo. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to try to do more of this. We'll probably do... Um, I'm going to see if I can get the old man to get off his wallet and get, do some giveaways. Um, and But mostly it's going to be YouTube. Um, we're, going, we're going to do Facebook as well, but we're going to try to do a lot with more with YouTube. Uh, YouTube is a little bit more friendly, gets more audience. Um, so please help us share, like, subscribe, and, uh, you know, it would be greatly appreciated. It helps us a lot. Indeed. So, you know what, unless we have some more questions tonight, I think that uh, we can wrap this up. And, uh, you know what, please, please let us know what you want to see, you know. And uh, we will try to accommodate uh, within reason. No nudity, no get, no, no, nothing crazy. <laughs> okay, maybe crazy. <laughs> I might show my butt. Yeah, well, yeah, well, that's you. I'm not. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm not even going to take my shirt off. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but no, I think uh, my dad's right. Yep, it's, uh, I think we're going to wrap it up here. And um, But yeah, thanks for watching. Please, again, like, subscribe, check out DCI Motorsports on YouTube. Uh, we're going to put a link in the comment section and a link on the uh, actual Facebook page. And uh, help support us, please. And, and please critique us because we want to get better. Uh, we want to be entertaining. If this is not entertaining, please let us know what we're doing wrong and we will correct it. Absolutely. All right, well, with that being said, thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you later. Peace out. <laughs>